With the siding complete, we'll start off with a tour of the outside of the building, just before it was painted. Next the pea gravel would be rinsed. It is similar to the stuff seen on the left. It's going to be placed on the bottom part of the building after the paint dries. After the paint dried, the opening for the doors and windows would be cut out. The inside wall material is made out of poster board. Next came working on the ceiling and roof, starting with making the lights. This site will be used as a template for trimming the others. I decided to use a tool for taking the insulation off the wires to trim the mass since using a saw could damage the wires inside. Once the lights were glued in place, they would be painted silver. While some may claim that this look is too modern, each station was modern when they were built. Next came the wiring for the lights. Here I'm soldering resistors together. This is what a resistor looks like up close, since the camera wouldn't focus on it when I held it up.
For the sake of time, here's a picture of the wires, and then the wires with the resistors soldered onto them. They would next be placed inside the roof. I'll mention the shingles in a moment. The tape on the wires is just so that I don't accidentally wire the lights wrong. If one of the lights were to be wired wrong, that means one of them could not be hooked up because the leads to the lamps would be too short. If you happen to be wondering, there are 15 lights and they all are LED. This camera angle isn't the best for showing this process, but given that I have to look straight down into the roof and place the lamp where it's at, this is as good as I could get it. Now comes feeding the wire through a hole in the bottom of the station floor. I'm going to use a plastic rod to pull the wire through the hole. After wiring, the final piece of trim was glued in place. This is a sheet of artist paper that has been cut into strips and then will be cut into individual pieces. They will become the shingles. The strips in this picture will produce 414 shingles, which will cover almost two-thirds of the roof. Lastly would be the addition of the sign to complete the station. Here is a view of the completed station. We'll now take a look inside. Woodpile makes these sticks that are the floors. They are not fully straight, they are sort of slanted inwards, so they're alternated to make the floor sort of a zigzag pattern unintentionally. These other strips are the siding, which are also a woodpile product. The tile floor is simulated with a paper-like material. I don't remember the exact name of what this stuff is called. Here is what the station looks like all lit up. The doors and windows are made from pieces of styrene. At the time they were made, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep them or not, so I didn't save the video clip made for them. Here's what the other side looks like in the mirror. 
Here's a walk around view of the entire station now that it's complete. Coming up next I'll be using it to make introductions for each video in my channel, as well as a channel introduction video, even though this channel's already two years old. 2019 is the year I started this channel. I'm using it as the address on this building. There's also a corner piece that has 2022 on it. That's going to be the final clip of this video.